The Bacardi Cup is celebrating more than nine decades of star class racing. In 2021, the fleet once again congregates at the Coral Reef Yacht Club and the U.S. Sailing Center for the 94th Bacardi Cup. Hi, I'm Ashley Love from T2P TV, and we'll be bringing you all of the racing same day so you don't miss a beat. Due to COVID, the number of boats allowed entry has been reduced to keep the docks a bit cleaner. Registration and lunches are being distributed safely, and there won't be social gatherings or parties on shore. But there will be bags of Bacardi kit to make sure the sailors get to enjoy their favorite rum, Bacardi rum, in the seclusion of their own hotels. We are very happy that we're able to do this. Um, it hasn't been easy. It's been, I would say, challenging this year with all the COVID measures, procedures, waivers, uh, everything that we needed to do to comply with the city regulations and the yacht clubs. Uh, but we are doing it. I think we're doing it safely. I'm hoping to show that the sailing can still happen even if there's a pandemic. It's, uh, it's not easy, but it's doable. I hope everybody has a great time. The fleet of about 27 stars have made it out to the race course and they are greeted with every bit of 20 knots of wind. Race committee is setting up for a course seven, which is a double triangle finish to windward. Keep an eye on those gold stars out there. We have world's winners like George Zabo and Augie Diaz. A lot of sheep in the pasture. Also, keep an eye on Kuziwerowicz with crew Bruno Prada as contenders to win this whole thing.
Bougier, which with crew Bruno Prada, first around in the first race of the Bacardi Cup. Second around, bow number 23, Eric Doyle and Payson Infilis. The first three are pretty well defined, the rest of the pack arriving at the exact same time. Battling for the high ground on the reach. If it's a shallow reach, you gotta go high to get those lanes. Watch out. Around a little bit more. is a Finnish, or sorry, he's from Poland, but he sailed the Finn for a gold medal in the 96 Olympics and he got a bronze in 2004. His crew has finished first in the worlds in the star class for five times. He also comes from the Finn class. So these two are Finn sailors. I wonder if they ever raced against each other in that class. In this heavy of air, race committee set up a triangle because it is just a lot safer for everyone. Two of the gold stars have separated themselves from the fleet, the Polish and Eric Doyle with his crew, Payson and Felice. years old, these star class boats are still incredibly gorgeous. They were the longest running Olympic class boat and came up with all sorts of inventions. Not much has changed for the second up when rounding the poles, bow 48 still in the lead. Those inventions I was talking about include the droop hiking vest that the crew wears. That evolved into the trapeze harness that many boats use today. Bow 22 about to round Joshua Powell and Mark Strube, who has won the Bacardi Cup before. I am uh, Josh Powell, um, when Mark and I were kids, we sailed when we were around 13, 14 years old and so we've been back in the boat together for about a year and this is our second Bacardi Cup together. I'm Mark Struby. Uh, my first Bacardi Cup was I think 1994 and uh, I've done somewhere between 15 and 20. I'd have to go back and look and see the results but uh, almost 20 Bacardi Cups. The crew union started um, a few years ago in Europe, <clears throat> and it was actually Bruno Prada, Frijof Klein, and a couple other crews were having dinner one night and complaining about the skippers and how they don't treat us well and they yell at us on the boat and all this stuff. So we started coming up with rules like, you know, you get three, I think, free tax and a beat, and after that it's 100 bucks, and then it's a flying first class, only first class, and it's a list of it. Um, Lynn, Fitz Lynn Fitzpatrick put an article together after that regatta, and it's listed on the website somewhere. It's a little bit uh, probably not PC, so just beware if you do find it online. It's you know it's a bit cheeky. Yeah. Nice wave.
First place is on a distant horizon job for the fleet. Second place, Eric Doyle, Payson, holding it down. Impressive comeback for Augie and his Augie Diaz, a world champion, and his crew, Marcus Cloy, who he has never sailed with until this morning due to the international flight restrictions. Third row start, all the way back to fourth position. Matuš Kujierowicz from Poland with his crew, Bruno Prada of Brazil. They are the reigning Bacardi champions from last year. We just finished the race one of uh, 2021 uh, Bacardi Cup. Uh, today the conditions were super tough. Uh, northeast wind between, uh, we have gusts of 20 knots, uh, choppy waves, so it was super challenging. We have not been sailing together since uh, Bacardi last year. Exactly so one year. One year ago. We are happy with our speed. We are happy with the way that we sail. But I, uh, we, we did a, a joke always that uh, on Wednesday we will be ready. <laughs> and today is the Monday. I think a race officer made a really good decision that we sail only one race because for the fleet uh, sailing uh, above in the winds above 20 knots uh, after especially long break, we are very well warm up. So we are looking forward for this week. Uh, it's supposed to be 10 races and uh, we are looking forward. One race will conclude the first day racing for the Bacardi Cup. Five more days are on the docket, so stay tuned.